I hear they're talking about a drive that can do Warp 3 within a few years. Warp 3? Come on. The hull would fly apart. They're dreaming. Yeah, well, you said the same thing about Warp 2. Well, you've got me there. Where are we, Captain? I don't think I've ever been here before. Nothing looks right. Don't ask me. Brody set the course. Said it was a shortcut. Well, it is. I mean, it's further as the crow flies. But if you know what you're doing, you can slingshot around a couple red dwarfs, and you're home before you know it. Well, the sooner the better for my money. This place must be the hindquarters of the whole quadrant. You know, my Uncle Bill cashed in in a place just like this. Bill? Your name's Bill. So? Are all the men in your family named Bill? Yes, what of it? It's a good name. I'm sure it is, but... Hold on, just a second. I'm picking up a large object, Captain. 22 degrees starboard. Maybe 10,000 kilometers. I don't know, Tom. I'm in a bit of a hurry. It's big, Captain. Over 190 metric tons. The scanner says a large percentage of that is metal. Hmm. Okay, you got my attention. Sounds like a ship. But there's nothing that large in this sector. Maybe even in this quadrant. Asteroid, maybe? All right, plot a course to intercept. We'll take a look. Look, there it is, Captain. I think it's an alien ship of some sort. The Royals don't have anything like this. Seems to be dead. Almost, Captain. I'm reading a very weak power signature, but no life forms aboard. That's close enough. All stop. Let's get some light on it, shall we? That looks like a warp nasal, but I ain't never seen one that big. Yeah, it's a ship, but... Oh, wait, look, there's the name. USS Constellation. NCC-1017. <laughs> Get the tow gear ready, gentlemen. I think we just scored the biggest find of our sorry lives. Space. Playground for the rich. Battleground for the greedy. An empty wasteland for those who fail to see the possibilities. Full of endless opportunity for those willing to take the risk. Where's your wife, Klein? Oh, she'll be along shortly. She had some sort of community book club or something. Should have known we'd find you here, Captain. Well, after a week or two on the boat, my whistle needs wetting pretty badly. And seeing as how we got more than usual to celebrate tonight, and seeing as how the Dapper Dog's the only establishment where a man... Or a woman. Or a woman can get a decent pint. I'm sure it wasn't any problem at all to find me. <laughs> hey, but before we get down to some serious mischief, I gotta ask... Uh, where is she? She, sir? The ship, Bill. I found just the place for her, Captain. Well? You know that funny-shaped asteroid out near L3? Sure. That particular asteroid has arms, you know. Just waiting to hug our little lady. <laughs> Good thinking. She should be safe there until we can find a buyer. What are you going to do with your share, Captain? I don't know, Tom. I never had so many credits all at one time. That ship... She was a big one, boys. She's the one we've been waiting for. Well, I've sure got some ideas. I'd like to have a bigger house. After all, there will be more than two of us someday. Right, Cappy? Oh, Cappy. <laughs> Shut up, Cookie. <laughs> that means we don't have to work anymore if we don't want to, don't it? That's right, Tom. I think I'm going to find some nice, quiet place where Mom and I can live. 
I'll see you to it that her last days are peaceful. Aw, Tommy, that's so sweet. Jenny, come on in, have a seat. What are you gonna do with your share, Cookie? I think I'm gonna leave home. I've got a mind to get me a ranch, have some livestock. And I'm sure you plan to talk to me about all of this at some point, right? Good one. Oh dear. I suppose you're all wondering about me. We don't get many visitors way out here, I suppose. Well, my name's Quincy. I'm from out of town. I'm no friend of the royals, and the next round is on me. Now, what else do you need to know? Is this seat taken? Uh, thanks, mate. We appreciate a man who can keep his traps shut. You live longer that way, especially when you're not exactly on the best terms with the royals, but I can't help but wonder. What brings you to these parts? I'm hoping to join your crew, Captain. I've got some experience in this type of ship. I think you need me. Ah, well, Mr... Quincy, I, just Quincy. Fine, Mr. Quincy, we've already got all the crew we need, and for that matter, all the crew our little ship will hold. She really don't take much to run. Most of the crew is just there to move cargo and discourage pirates, that sort of thing. Oh, well, I should have made myself clear. I wasn't talking about the refuse. I was talking about that big alien craft you towed in yesterday. How'd you know about that? Oh, I know a lot of things about a lot of things, Tom Brody. Now relax, I'm here for a job, not to cause trouble. I figure the Royals can cause plenty of that without any help from me. What are you getting at, Quincy? The Royals know about your new prize, Captain. I expect they're racing at this very minute to be the first here. Take it away from you. You filthy royal spy! C calm down, calm down, guys. Let's hear him out. Look, I ain't no spy for the royals, nor for anyone else. I just know, that's all. They're on their way. You've got ten, maybe eleven days to move that ship. And that's not the worst of it. They want that ship very badly. You can go move it, but if any of you or if any of your kin are still here when they arrive, well, let's just say you'd better not leave anything or anybody here that means anything to you. Why do we have to stay over here on the refuse, Captain? I'd much rather be here, Cookie. It's cold over there. No life support. Let's let him get it online, then we'll go on over. How's it coming over there, Quincy? This ain't like starting your ship, Captain. The startup sequence from hibernation mode takes several hours. I still don't trust him. The way I see it, we don't have a whole lot of choice. He says he knows that type of ship, and we've never seen anything like it. Uh, maybe so, but why is he so eager to help us? It just smells funny, if you ask me. <laughs> well, I didn't ask you, but I appreciate your input. Look, if he was in cahoots with the Royals, why'd he come to us ten days in advance, hmm? He could have shown up with them. They could have wiped us out, he would have gotten a huge reward, if they didn't kill him. And that'd have been the end of it. You've got a point, but I'll wager he's up to no good somehow or another. You wait and see. What's he doing over there on the Constellation anyway? He's been over there for hours. Yes, I will abide by the terms of our agreement. Repeat the terms for us, please. Really? Yes, really. I will not make my true identity known or use my abilities in an overt way. I will not rescue the test subjects through the use of my abilities. And the experiment is limited to no more than 100 years. Very well. Let the experiment begin. All right, then. Here we go. Hey, look, Captain. The lights are coming on. Hmm. So they are. Yeah, there's navigation, running lights, and that must be the bridge. Are you ready for a tour of your new ship, Captain? I'm going to bring you over to your ship now. Don't panic. This is a little strange the first few times you do it. What do you mean? What's a little...
strange. What did you do, you alien devil? Where are we? Tell me or I swear I'll beat the... That's enough, Klein. I... I think I'm gonna be... sick. Uh, take a few deep breaths, calm down, you're fine. You're on the Constellation. Here, Captain, take this. It's called a communicator. You use it to communicate. Do I look that stupid? I'm uh, sorry. So, uh, so st step back on the pad, please, Captain. All right. What are you going to do? I'm going to send you to that little pub where we first met. Gather as many as four others that you'd like to bring up here with you. Go to some open place. Stand in a grouping about that size. Open the communicator. And tell me how many of you there are and that you're ready to come up. You've got all that. Got it. I'm watching you, Quincy. Captain Kruger, your bridge. I see you found the captain's chair. Go ahead, Captain. Sit, sit. It's like a glove, Captain. You look great in it, Cappy. Brilliant. Like a proper authority figure. Brody, Westwood, come on in, guys. All of this is the bridge? I've seen ships smaller than this. <laughs> it's all the bridge. <laughs> now, don't get too comfortable. We've got less than nine days to learn how to fly it. This has been the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I've lived my whole life among these people. They all know me. To stand in front of them and tell them that they all had to leave or die. It's been a crazy nine days, Cappy. I've seen families who have lived in the same house for generations, packing up to leave for God knows where. I had to watch a little girl leave her puppy behind. Are you sure about the no pets rule? We just don't have the resources, Addy. These rules aren't arbitrary. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know where we'd be without Quincy. He taught me how to operate the communications console a few days ago. He made it seem so simple. I know. You should have seen Klein learning the engineering station. Amazing. And I've learned so much about ship's operations in the last six days, I think my head might explode. <laughs> Well, try not to let it, dear. You know how hard that would be to clean up? Klein, you and Dr. English take the left side of the street. Quincy and I will take the right side. Check and see if anybody's in each house. If it's empty, put tape across the door. If anyone's there, then get them to the ship. What if they refuse to go? Well, for their sake and for the security of everyone else, we can't leave anyone here. Explain to them how important it is for them to go, and if that doesn't work, well, we'll find other ways to convince them. Staying here is not an option. Kruger. Cappy, I'm picking up dozens of ships coming this way at high speed. ETA? Three hours, 26 minutes. Thanks. Kruger out. They're coming. We better finish this last sweep and be on our way. It still seems like such a shame to leave all this behind. I couldn't agree more, Doc. Normally I'd advise everybody to leave or stay, whichever they felt right. But the Royals are coming. And they're going to be asking whoever they find here where we went and where that ship is. And the Royals never ask nicely. I I'll take this house. Hello? Anybody in there? Clear. Clear. Anybody home? 
Okay. Clear. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Hello? Wait, I, I've, got, I've got a straggler here. We came mighty close to passing this house by. You're not supposed to be here. We ain't leaving. Leastways, not yet. Can't you see she's about to give birth, Captain? Look, um... Roger. Roger Maynard. This here's Chloe. Right. Roger, you can't stay here. Why not? This is our house. Oh. Me and Chloe, we got lots of plans for this place. We should get her to the ship. The medical facilities there are incredible. I'm sorry, Roger. Really, I am. If you want to blame somebody, you can blame me. But this is all for the best, really. We want to stay. You go. We wish you all well, but please, let us stay here. Roger, if you stay, I can almost guarantee you you're going to die. You, Chloe, and your child. You've got to leave. Why? Oh, it's a long story, okay? We were out salvaging, and we found a ship. A very big, very alien ship. You've got the space fever. You stayed out here too long, didn't you? I wish that's all it was, Roger. Listen, however bad you think this war between the Royals is, it'll be far worse if they get their hands on that ship. It's far more powerful than anything we've got. We can't let that happen. How do you plan on keeping it from them? Well, we haven't worked out all the details yet, but one thing's for sure. We can't stay here. We gotta leave and try and stay out of their sight. The Royals are coming, Roger. We all have to leave. Okay. We'll go. But not yet. We might end up a bunch of drifters wandering around space forever. But I don't want to see my son be born out there, Captain. I want him to have a real planet that he can call home. I want him to be from somewhere, you know? I know. Okay. We'll wait as long as we can. Quincy, get to the ship. Help him get ready for the Royals just in case we don't leave in time. Doctor, help Chloe as best you can. I wish you hadn't found that stupid ship. Yep. Today would have been just another day. And things might have gone on for a while just the way they were. But what if the Royals had found that ship? It's four times faster than the ships they have now, and it has many times the firepower. That ship could level this village from space with a single blast. Sure, it might have been 20, 25 years before they found it, but it also could have been next year, or sooner. Then what? No, I'm glad we found it. You said it could blow up a whole city. Why don't we use it to defeat the Royals? Let's end this thing once and for all. Don't think for a second that hadn't occurred to us. It's a very powerful ship. But we wouldn't want to go up against the entire combined fleets of both brothers. Yeah, well maybe. Kruger. Cappy, they'll be here in five minutes or so. You need to get on board. Now. Understood. Doctor, we've got to- Whoa! Is there anything you can do to speed this up? On the ship, maybe. Here? No. Look, Captain, if you've got something else you could be doing, I'm kind of busy right now. They're here, Doctor, or they will be in a few minutes. We've got to go. No, not yet. Please. Okay, okay. Roger, do not go in there. It's dangerous. <laughs> ah, Tom, do you want to come? No, looks like you've got it under control. I'll take navigation. We're being hailed. Try to look like you know what you're doing, guys. On screen. I am Captain Blockon, 
of the Cantranian battleship Mara. We are currently coming alongside you. I have orders to confiscate your vessel. Prepare to be boarded. Your officers will be taken into custody, tried for tax evasion, unlawful vessel procurement, failure to register a vessel, and a few lesser charges. The rest of you may relocate to the planet below. Please begin evacuation of non-officers immediately. Thank you. Greetings and salutations. I am Sheriff Stephen W. Westwood of the Starship Constellation. We are most honored by your visit. However, there seems to be some misunderstanding as to... He cut me off. How rude. Brody, shields up. Aye, sir. Shields engaged. The Monarch has just launched a shuttle. They're instructing us to open our shuttle bay doors. Well, we certainly wouldn't want to disobey. Shuttle bay, open the bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are opening, sir. Adrian, get that shuttle on screen and open a channel, will you? Gladly, sir. Westwood to Candranian Shuttlecraft. Come in. Candranian Shuttle M. Sutton here. I assume you are in compliance? As you can see, the shuttle bay is open and ready to receive your boarding party with full honors, of course. Now, if you will just line up with the markings and proceed slowly forward, that's it. Wait, why did you stop? Did you hit something? <laughs> We're being hailed again, sir. On screen. What is the meaning of this? How did you do that? I thought the meaning of this was pretty clear. But just to keep it simple for you, this means you're not boarding our ship, you're not confiscating anything, and you're not prosecuting anybody. As far as how we did it, well, it was magic. Presto! Target one of their engines. Make sure that the other is not damaged. We need one of them intact. Fire! Brody, how are the shields holding up? Shields are down 0.5%. You think we should tell him? Oh no, the poor fellow would just lose all hope. You're right. I wonder why the rest of the fleet is keeping their distance. Looks like what, 30, 40 ships? 34 ships, sir. What is happening? Our weapons are having no visible effect. Cease fire! Where is the Armada? They are just out of sensor range. As you ordered, sir. I know what I ordered. Contact them. I want them here immediately. Yes, sir. Kruger, this is Westwood. The Royals haven't really given us much trouble yet, but I'm getting nervous. They may have a trick or two up their sleeves. You might want to hurry it up down there. Did Quincy make it back okay? Uh, yes. He brought the shuttle in a few minutes before the Royals showed up. Good, good. Okay, um, we'll get back as soon as we can. Surely it won't be that much longer. What the... What are they shooting at now? What in the name of... English, wrap it up in there. We're being fired on. They're getting closer. It won't be long now, Ken. Look, I don't care how you do it, but we've got to leave right now. I'll be back for you in a minute, Paul. Got you, Doc. There you go. I'm going in. No, you can't go in there. Chloe could still be alive. Chloe! Four. No, five to beam up. One moment, Captain. Stevens, is that you? 
transport us up now or you're going to wish you had. What just happened? Sorry for the delay, Captain. We had to lower the shields for a second between blasts from their plasma cannons, beam you up, then raise the shields again. Very tricky. Klein, come with me. Excellent. The Armada has arrived. This is Captain Blakan. Move the Armada into formation around the target and wait for my command. Why do they not fire back? I'll tell you why they do not fire back. They've decided that to escalate the fight would be poor strategy. But if their vessel is so mighty, if their vessel is so resistant to our weapons, then why do they consider escalation to be a poor strategy? I'll tell you why. It is because their ship is being damaged by our attacks. A small amount of damage, but damage nonetheless. So, if one ship can do a small amount of damage, then many ships could destroy it. And what gentlemen do we have that they do not have? I'll tell you what we have that they do not have, gentlemen. Many ships. Blacon, do all vessels. Fire at will! Welcome aboard, Klein. Captain. Thanks, Sheriff. What's the status? They're pounding the pudding out of us, sir, or at least they would be if it weren't for our shields. Shields are at 55%, Captain. At this rate, we've got shields for maybe five more minutes. But more ships keep joining the attack, so it won't even be that long. <sighs> okay. Helm, bring us around to the far side of the refuse and position us so that she's at her stern. Oh, and, and try and be quick about it. Moving into position now, Captain. Klein, prepare to engage the tractor beam on my mark. What do you want me to target with the beam, sir? The refuse. We may have a very nice ship, but that doesn't mean we can't still collect some scrap metal when the opportunity arises. Sheriff, prepare one photon torpedo, if you please. Target that asteroid. Wait for my command to fire and try not to hit the refuse. Adrian, hail the lead Contranian ship. Hi, Cappy. Opening a channel. Put him on screen. Ah, a different one this time. Very well. You must be the captain. You've come to your senses, no doubt. Well, get on with it, surrender, turn off that invisible barrier, and prepare to be boarded. I'm sorry, there's been a misunderstanding. None of that's gonna happen. I just want to say goodbye and give you a fair warning. Warning? You're warning me? Yep. In about ten seconds, you're going to want to be as far away from this asteroid as you can manage. If you don't hesitate, you should be safe. Well, nice meeting you. We really must be going. Screen off. Klein, engage the tractor beam. Sheriff, ahead full impulse. Fire that photon torpedo in 10 seconds. Brody, lay in a course for Emblano 5. Three, two, one. Photon torpedo away, Captain. All vessels pull back, full impulse. Faster, you idiots! Faster! My God! All vessels jump now! We must have that ship. We will have that ship. Good heavens! I've never seen anything like that. Brody, warp four. You got it. Ooh, I love that song. Ah, Bill. Hey, come on in. Join us. But hey, first, uh, get yourself something from the food dispenser over there. Amazing. Tell the machine what you want, and there it is. I may never have to cook again. Well, that'd be a waste. But hey, have a seat. We found this game in storage. It's pretty fun. Go ahead, Jenny. Oh, a manly man was he. He caught 
So why did we come to Alblano 5? I thought we'd pay a little visit to Kel Gathos. Before we do anything else, I want to get this ship painted. Huh. Never knew he painted. Is he any good? Oh, yeah. He's one of the best around. I've hired him before. Why paint it? Looks fine to me. Well, we don't know who owned it before. What if they come looking for it? I'm going to make it harder to find and maybe a little harder to recognize. I guess that makes sense. Your turn, Addy. Do you trust him not to cheat you? Yeah, I trust him. I've got Quincy keeping an eye on him just in case. Yeah, but who do you have watching Quincy? That guy gives me the creeps. He's strange, no doubt. But he's been a big help getting us trained to fly this ship. Kruger. No, 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 no ID numbers, no ID at all. Well, how about a name? Well, well, of course, the name. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Let's call her the Liberty. L I B E R T Y. No, I don't want any flair. Look, I know you're an artist, you're a genius, but find some other way to express yourself, okay? Hey, prove you're out. Do you have anything to report? The experiment's proceeding quite well. I'm learning so much about these people. I'm beginning to suspect that some of them are not as violent as I once thought. They're capable of impressive acts of kindness and sacrifice. But there's also hatred, fear, and ignorance. Hmm. A hundred years may not be enough. Go to sleep, you two. Oh, but Mom! All right, all right. If you'll lay down and be quiet, I'll tell you a story. A long time ago, before I was even born. Whoa! Come on, it wasn't that long ago. Where was I? Yes. A long time ago, there was a kindly emperor and his beautiful empress. Was she more beautiful than you, mother? It is said that she was so beautiful that sometimes the sun would refuse to rise because it would only pale when bathed in her radiance. Wow! The emperor and the empress lived happily for many years in their empire and were loved by all but the emperor knew that he would soon be too old to rule. He and his wife must soon produce an heir, or the empire would fall into chaos when he was gone. Sometime later, the empress finally bore an heir. In fact, she bore two heirs, two identical twins. She named them Cantrain and Ablanto. Soon, there was much debate throughout the land as to which one was which. Then, on the prince's 21st birthday, a great wailing rang through the hills and the valleys of the land, for the emperor and empress were found dead. No reaction? I see. Sleep tight.
So, this is the shuttle bay. This is my first time here. I've been using the transporter. I hate that thing. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. What's going on, Captain? Why'd you bring us down here? I just wanted to know that you guys were on board with our business plan. We're all in this thing together. I don't want to force you into anything. Are you sure it's a good idea? <laughs> Not completely, no. Before, all we had to do was make enough money to feed our families. Now we have 120 permanent passengers to feed. Gotta get creative. This shuttle load of peoples, that, that group that just boarded, they're all paying very good money for transportation. As long as tyrants are in power, there are always going to be people who need to get around with balance without being asked a whole bunch of questions. Fair enough. Makes my job a lot harder, though. Hey, Captain, what'd you do with the refuse? Oh, I traded her for the paint job, a few weeks' worth of supplies, and some credit. I guess that's it, then. No going back. Yep. Well, just for the record, I'm in, Captain. Yeah, me too. Well, I think that's the last of them, Captain. Uh, shouldn't we be going? Right. Can't stay put for very long anymore. Let's go. I'll see you on the bridge a little later, Captain. Have you seen the side of the ship? You mean the flames? Yeah, Kruger's gonna be furious. He told Cal Gathos not to go getting all artistic on him. <laughs> Tom, these next few days promise to be very, very interesting.